Okay, we're going to start getting into more and more fun stuff with this. We're going to be working with uh, layering our layers today, which means we have to create separate tracks to layer. So first I'm going to show you what we're going to do in the command line, but using Caden Live, which is using the same backend that we're using. So uh, I have two clips here, short little two second clip of uh, my mom and my sister and my niece. Uh, and then we have this stock footage, which I got off YouTube. If you just YouTube uh, stock footage old film, you should be able to find something like this. I used YouTube DL to download it, but however you like to download videos from YouTube. Um, let me resize that so they're the same length. And of course, the top layer is what you see. You don't see what's under it. So if I add a what's called a transition, I call them layer effects, but transition here um, by default is a dissolve, but we can choose that. And we have a whole list of stuff to choose from. All these things, once again, since we used MLT, which is what Caden Live uses, we have all these available to us uh, from the command line. I'm going to choose Multiply for this, because that's the one that I normally use for, um, or one of the ones I normally use for an old film effect. So now we got that. So it makes it look more like an old film. Uh, I showed you in the last tutorial how to add the old film filter. Uh, that alone, and I've talked about this in tutorials past, does not look like an old film. It adds some of the aspects of it, but not all. I think a layering effect and then adding to our film the effects like grayscale, grain, uh, old film, and probably some contrast. Now we're getting a video that really looks like an old video, depending on how much you want to degrade the video. So we're going to do all that that we just did to all our videos in the command line, in the shell. Here we go. Um, First things first, list out. You can see I've got all these MOVs, and then this MP4 right here is the video I downloaded from YouTube that we're going to overlay it with. And uh, as I said, we have to create tracks to do this. So I'm gonna go MLT-track, uh, and then I'm gonna say all my MOV files. So that will take all our MOV files. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do dash track to create a new track that we're going to lay over top of that one. And we're going to say uh, it's going to contain our MP4 file. And then we need to say the transition or the layer effect that we're going to be using. So dash transition. And uh, in this case, as I showed you in a previous tutorial how to look up about all these information, I'll go over that in a moment. But the multiply one is F-R-E-I-O, the number, or sorry, zero, R, dot and then in this case we're going to go multiply yeah if I could type today to apply there still there we go <laughs> okay and if we hit enter we'll get a preview of that video there we go so all our video clips with layer effects so we got some of the effect still not quite done because uh, the background video doesn't really have the feel it just has that layer over top of it so um, just like before, we're going to add in our filters. So right here after our MOV, I'm going to say dash filter old film. And that will add the old film, whatever the default settings for the old film effect or filter, to that uh, track or all those videos. So now you can see there's a little more of a flickering of the brightness. And there's other options we can tweak. I'm just going to leave them at the default as far as the old film filter. Um, but I'm also going to... Let's clear the screen, make it easier for you to see. Add another filter here. So dash filter, and I'm gonna say grain. We'll have a look at what that looks like. So now you can see the video is grainier. Once again, uh, the more um, uh, effects, uh, filters I add, uh, the slower this, this preview look is, but we'll get a, which actually looks, once again, kind of good because it's kind of a jerky, which you're going to get with a film, which is something you can do with the speed effect and the strobe option in it. I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial, but we added the grain. Of course, um, I also like to uh, add a uh, contrast. So uh, let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay. <laughs> Dash filter. F R E I zero R dot contrast O R zero R and then space and capital C for contrast and we'll give it a value of 0.8 it's gonna make it a very contrast video make it look, look a little darker 
once again, all for the effect you're looking for. You might lose some quality, but we're trying to make it look like an old film, so of course we're going to lose some quality. And if you'd like, depending on what you're going for, you can say dash, uh, filter, grayscale, and make it look like so. There's actually still a little bit of color in there because we haven't added any effects to our top layer, um, which is fine because it kind of makes it look like uh, it's projecting it on a kind of a tan screen. But if you wanted to, of course, we can add the filter for that video uh, right here. We should be able to go dash grayscale. Uh, it still seems to have the color. I thought that would work. Did I miss something? Clear the screen, run that. I don't know, maybe it's just the way they're uh, they're merging the videos. It doesn't matter whether it's grayscale or not. Anyway, it's the effect I'm going for, and it looks great. So, of course, at this point, we can uh, create the output video for this. Um, <coughs> so we'll run that same command, but then at this point, we're going to say consumer AV format colon name of the file, I'll just call this old film uh, 2 dot avi and I'll say once again v codec equals lib x vid and uh, for quality I'll say b equals 5 thousand which I actually think when I save stuff in Caden Live I save it at about eight thousand eight thousand to twelve thousand I think is usually what I pick from the drop down. Let me set that to eight thousand. Uh, especially with all the flickering and stuff you want a better quality or else you might get some more pixelization which we kinda did in the first old film video we made. So um oh before I do that let me cancel that. Q will cancel that. Let's run it again without saving it. We'll just run the preview. The uh uh, video that I downloaded from YouTube, the stock footage of the old film uh, effect that I'm layering over this track of all the videos is only 30 seconds long. Well, I have like 45 seconds of video clips here. So there's things we can do. We can add uh, another version of it over top uh, and then trim that back. But uh, what I'm going to do is just cut the video for right now where it cuts out, which I think is around uh, frame 900 something. There we go. So it still has the flickering and the film, all the effects we set to the first track, but the second track is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, right here before the second track, I'm just going to say dash out. Is there a dash? No, it's just out, I think. Out equals, and I'll set that to 850. Um, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think I did that right. Uh, so, letting it go along. You can see down here we're at frame 200. Now we're at frame 300. So 600 frames to go. And uh, the first track should stop. The second track might be a few frames longer than that, which is fine. It's kind of like the tailing of a film when you're playing it on a projector. Um, we've got about 200 frames left. And the video should stop right about, no, of course, of course when I'm, I did this earlier and it worked no problem, uh, but the second I try to do it here, <laughs> I have an issue. Give me one second here, let me look at my notes. Once again, I am kind of new to uh, MLT and Melt. Um, Maybe if I put it here before the filters equals, and I'm actually going to test it by saying uh, 100 so we can see it without having to watch all of it. That uh, that track will hopefully stop. It did not. Okay, I will play with that on the next. I know I did it when I was practicing this before I recorded. I'm obviously just putting something in the wrong place. Um, 
maybe it should go at the very end for everything. Out equals 100. Ah, there we go. That cut the first track there. Okay, so that, that should work. We'll set that to 900. Um, a little confused on why it works like that. I'll have to play with it more. Uh, <laughs> but um, once again, we'll go to the command we typed in earlier to save it, and we'll put that out equals 900. We're going to look at other ways of doing this in the future, so I'm not going to get too much into it. I've already spent enough time on it. Um, but we're saving an output video now. Uh, should be 900 frames long of oldfilm2.avi as an xvid. And um, I will play that here at the end so you can see what it looks like. And uh, that's our output video. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you have a great day.